The United States Marine Corps is a separate military service within the U.S. Department of the Navy. It is charged with the provision of Marine troops for seizure and the defense of advanced bases, as well as conducting operations on land and in the air incident to naval campaigns. In this video, you will get an overview of all the ranks in the United States Marine Corps in ascending order of seniority. The United States Marine Corps ranks are divided into three major rank classifications, which are the ranks for enlisted Marines, warrant officers, and commissioned officers. The lowest rank in the United States Marine Corps is the rank of private. Marines in this rank do not wear a rank insignia. They obtain this rank during basic training, where they learn about the Marine Corps and gain the fundamental skills that they need to succeed in the military. Private First Class A Marine in this rank wears a rank insignia, featuring one chevron. A private first class is expected to be an example for new marines and carry out the orders of their superior officers to the best of their ability. Next in order of seniority is the rank of Lance Corporal. Lance Corporals wear a rank insignia with one chevron and two crossed rifles. They are expected to master all of their assigned duties and responsibilities and are given leadership and supervisory responsibilities over other marines. Marines in the ranks of private through to Lance Corporal make up the junior enlisted ranks in the Marine Corps. These Marines are fairly new to the Corps and are focused primarily on their development and growth while refining their skills. Corporal A Corporal in the US Marine Corps can be identified by a rank insignia with two chevrons and two crossed rifles. In this rank, a Marine may be assigned as a squad leader, leading two fire teams. They also continue to develop their leadership and job skills through specialty schools. Sergeant Sergeants wear an insignia, featuring three chevrons and two crossed rifles. Sergeants may serve as squad leaders in combat operations and lead unit-level training. In some cases, they may be selected to serve as platoon sergeants, where they are in charge of three to five squads. Marines in the ranks of corporal and sergeant are classified as non-commissioned officers. These non-commissioned officers are experienced, having faced numerous mental and physical challenges. Moving up in rank, Marines may be promoted to the rank of staff sergeant. Holders of this rank wear an insignia with three chevrons and one rocker with two crossed rifles in the center. A staff sergeant is considered a seasoned Marine and may serve as a platoon sergeant and act as the top tactical advisor to the platoon commander during combat and support operations. They may also support their platoons by conducting training and performing administrative tasks. Gunnery Sergeant The rank insignia for gunnery sergeants features three chevrons and two rockers with crossed rifles in the center. Gunnery sergeants serve as the unit's operations chief, working with superior officers on training, operations, and tactical advising. Master Sergeant Master sergeants wear an insignia with three chevrons and three rockers with crossed rifles in the center. They provide technical leadership as specialists in their specific military occupational specialty at the battalion or division level. Next up is the rank of first sergeant. A first sergeant wears a rank insignia, featuring three chevrons and three rockers with a lozenge-shaped diamond in the center. A first sergeant has more authority and responsibility than a master sergeant. Holders of this rank are responsible for the morale, welfare, and discipline of all of the enlisted members assigned to their units. They may also serve at the company level, advising commanders of the readiness of the personnel in their units. Master Gunnery Sergeant Holders of this rank wear an insignia, featuring three chevrons and four rockers with a bursting bomb in the center. A Master Gunnery Sergeant provides technical leadership as a specialist in their specific military occupational specialty. 
They also serve as the senior enlisted member of their units and function as a bridge between the enlisted Marines and their commanders. Sergeant Major Sergeant Majors wear a rank insignia, featuring three chevrons and four rockers with a star in the center. Holders of this rank are in charge of making high-level strategic decisions that impact the entire Marine Corps. They may also lead at the battalion level all the way up to corps levels, advising officers, including general officers, on the personnel readiness of their units. Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps A Marine in this rank wears a rank insignia, featuring three chevrons and four rockers, with the Marine Corps emblem and two stars in the center. The holder of this rank is personally selected by the Commandant and is the most senior enlisted member of the Marine Corps, unless a Marine is serving as the senior enlisted advisor to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Marines in the ranks of Staff Sergeant through to Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps are classified as Staff NCOs. Staff NCOs are highly experienced Marines working in tandem with NCOs, responsible for the welfare, morale, discipline, and efficiency of Marines in their charge. Following ascending order of seniority, enlisted Marines may be promoted to Warrant Officer 1. A Warrant Officer 1 wears an insignia, featuring one gold bar with two maroon breaks. Holders of this rank have a great amount of responsibility, which may include training soldiers, organizing and advising on missions, and serving as technical experts and trusted advisors to support the Marine Corps mission. A Warrant Officer 1 may also serve as a maintenance officer, career recruiter, supply officer, or administrative officer. Upon achieving the rank of Chief Warrant Officer 2, Warrant Officers become commissioned officers. A Warrant Officer 2 wears an insignia, featuring one gold bar with three maroon breaks. They are tactical and technical experts in their specific military occupational specialty, and usually have responsibility of leading at the battalion level. Chief Warrant Officer 3 Holders of this rank wear a rank insignia, featuring a silver bar with two maroon breaks. They may have the responsibility of leading technical operations up to the brigade level. Next in order of seniority is the rank of Chief Warrant Officer 4. A Chief Warrant Officer 4 wears an insignia, featuring a silver bar with three maroon breaks. Warrant officers in this rank are considered as senior level experts in their field and usually support operations at the battalion, brigade, division and corps levels. The highest rank for Warrant Officers is the rank of Chief Warrant Officer 5. The insignia for a Chief Warrant Officer 5 features a silver bar with a horizontal maroon line. In this rank, Warrant Officers may serve as mentors to other Warrant Officers and provide essential advice to commanders on issues concerning their field. They are also expected to lead integrating efforts across Marine Corps branches, combined forces, and joint operations. The highest ranks in the United States Marine Corps are held by commissioned officers. The lowest commissioned officer ranks in the Marine Corps are the ranks for company grade officers. The lowest rank in this category is the rank of second lieutenant. Second lieutenants in the Marine Corps wear an insignia featuring one gold bar. This rank is attained after graduating from the United States Naval Academy, Navy Reserve Officers Training Corps, Officer Candidate School, or from a direct commissioning source. The next possible rank for Marine Corps officers is the rank of First Lieutenant. First Lieutenants wear a rank insignia, featuring a silver bar. A First Lieutenant has more responsibility and usually commands a specialized weapons platoon or serves as an executive officer in a company-sized unit. Promotion to this rank is usually automatic after 24 months as a second lieutenant. The highest rank for company grade officers is the rank of captain. Captains wear an insignia featuring two silver bars. Promotion to this rank typically happens after about 24 months of time in grade as a first lieutenant and four years of time in service. A captain usually serves as commander of a company 
and may also be assigned as a staff officer at the battalion level or as an instructor at technical schools or combat training centers. Ascending in rank, U.S. Marine Corps officers are promoted to field grade officer ranks. The lowest rank in this category is the rank of major. The rank insignia worn by majors features a golden oak leaf. A major usually serves as a battalion executive officer, weapons company commander, or staff member at the regiment or brigade level. Majors who are in aviator roles may serve as assistant directors or flight commanders or squadron executive officers. Following promotion from the rank of major, officers are usually promoted to the rank of lieutenant colonel. The insignia for holders of this rank features a silver oak leaf. A lieutenant colonel usually serves as commander of a battalion-sized unit or as the executive officer of a brigade or marine expeditionary unit. The highest rank for field grade officers is the rank of colonel. Colonels wear a rank insignia featuring a silver spread eagle. A colonel usually serves as a regimental commander or division executive officer. Holders of this rank may also serve as chief of a divisional level staff agency or as an assistant commander of an aviation wing. The highest ranks in the United States Marine Corps are held by general officers. The lowest rank for general officers is the rank of Brigadier General. Brigadier Generals wear an insignia featuring one silver star. They usually serve as deputy commanders for a commanding general of a Marine Corps division or commanding general of an aviation or mission support wing. Next up is the rank of Major General. Holders of this rank wear an insignia featuring two silver stars. A major general usually commands a division-sized unit or serves as a member of the Joint Staff or at the Marine Corps Headquarters as a director or commanding general. Lieutenant General The rank insignia for lieutenant generals features three silver stars. Promotion to this rank is a highly selective process and they usually serve on the Joint Staff or at the Marine Corps Headquarters while others may command a Marine Expeditionary Force. The highest rank for U.S. Marine Corps officers is the four-star rank of General. Generals are chosen for promotion from elite officers in the rank of Lieutenant General and are recommended for promotion by a sitting board of active general officers. A four-star general may serve as the Commandant of the U.S. Marine Corps and takes full responsibility and command of the entire Corps. Did you know that each element of the Marine Corps emblem has a unique meaning? The eagle is a symbol of the United States and is often associated with freedom. The globe represents the Marine Corps commitment to serving anywhere in the world, and the anchor symbolizes the Corps amphibious duties and close ties to the Navy. If you didn't know this, you learnt it on military stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos.